So what we have here are the uh, steel pictures. They're close-up pictures uh, showing where the fuses are. So if you can actually tell where this um, VGA, it's for an LED screen, uh, plugs in, then here you have a um, QFP package that actually modulates the power across the board. So power comes through here and then goes to this fuse, comes to this package and then powers the screen to turn on. This is the actual fuse that's bad on that one unit that we were speaking about. But in all fairness, what we're going to do is take and open up the um, still pictures for the other fuses just so you can get an idea of what they look like and where they're at. So those fuses will be down further here. So this will be the um, USB fuses. Uh, same type of principle. Power comes across the board here, goes to the fuse, and then comes to where this QFP package is, and then uh, diverses itself through the USBs for 5 volt power. So what happens is you also have the fuse protecting the rest of the circuitry but also the uh, fuse is supplying power to the USB. So if the USBs over volt it'll only burn what's on this circuitry past the fuse. So fuse to USB that's how that'll get damaged. So we'll move to the next uh, still picture showing the other fuse. And that fuse is right here. So this fuse actually supplies power to the battery. Um, yet again we have another uh, QFP package here. And um, this is actually for uh, Cyrus Logics. Um, chipset uh, but you have um, this power and this QFP over here that does the same thing as the other one so what happens is power comes across here goes to the battery and vice versa as it's coming out of the battery this protects the rest of the board so you have that uh, fuse right there performing the same basic function as the other ones Now with this fuse, what it's doing is uh, protecting the board uh, from the power cycle. So say your uh, power adapter goes fritzy and uh, decides it's going to fry the motherboard. Instead of frying the motherboard, it's going to blow that ceramic fuse. So what you have there is that ceramic fuse protecting the board. and Unlike the other ones, you don't have the QFPs there to actually diversify the power throughout the board. This QFP right here is for your uh, network card, so that doesn't do anything as far as uh, modulating the power. This is strictly goes from the VN tap and then diversifies it through the whole entire board. If this fuse blows, then you have no power. So that's what that is right there. Um, and that's how you can see that uh, would be an issue with your system. Now the rest of the stills that we're going to go through happen to be stills that um, that's a different shot of the same uh, same fuse just from a different angle and we'll see if we can't find the uh, that's yet another shot from a different angle so but the pictures that we're looking for now are the water damage pictures that go to the other board and that would be right here so as we were saying about the water damage you can see close up here there's corrosion on these pins and with those pins being corroded you have uh, power that's going to it's going to ground out somewhere, so that 
right there, that corrosion is going to be indicative of water damage. Let's see if we got a better picture of that. Uh, it doesn't seem that we have any uh, more focused picture on there. But we did take a few. So let's see what we can find. Okay, this right here is going to show the water damage coming across the board. And what you have is corrosion on this pin and this pin over here. Uh, mainly you can tell because the pads on this one, even though it's blurred, and the pads on this one show uh, very clean solder. This one right here shows uh, circular uh, formations here which is indicative of corrosion. So you have corrosion and this is on a Fairchild MOSFET so that FET right there is supplying power to across the board and has corrosion on it. So, And then you can see where actual uh, it appears that there's a water flow right here because you have corrosion over here so uh, there's a pattern that goes across here and it appears to be water damage. So let's see if we have any better steals of this uh, unit and it's there we go. That appears to be a little bit better. See how the pads are squared off? When you have squared off pads uh, that's a pretty good sign you have proper solder flow. Right here we have rounded pads which means you probably have corrosion going on and then of course you have this uh, looks like corrosion over here so let's see if we can't find any different now with this we're trying to say that it may be corrosion uh, with with boards what we end up seeing is if you see this up at the top uh, on a normal system you're looking and you're seeing um, a discoloration like that. That may be solder. That may be flux. Uh, you know the the rosin that's in the solder, or you may have uh, flux that was used to flux a uh, piece back onto the board when you're soldering. But this doesn't. Ex uh, you wouldn't have flux up there, and these pins, these uh, five pins right here, are discolored. And it's indicative. Uh, when you look across, it looks like it's a flow too. So, what we're thinking is this is probably uh, this is probably a water damage uh, slash coke damage system also. So that would be something to look for with it. Um, and that's what we found with that one. Now, as we get closer up. Oh, that's the same picture. We'll, we'll scratch that one. Now, let's see. If, that's just the video. So, with our pictures that we have right here, this seems to be uh, a coke damage spill that turned into a corrosion issue on these later pictures. So, you have it where it flowed like that. Now, in a unibody, you're talking about a system that's only, uh, the board's only probably eight inches. So, you know, if even eight inches. So, you're looking at the travel for the corrosion is pretty good. And the top side to the back side, you're looking at it's uh, very feasible to have ran and settled on the underside of the board and caused. Uh, damage to the system. But what we're going to do is go from the still images here and then we're going to clean up the boards and uh, see what uh, what we get out of it um, now that we've done the close-up stills on them.